Yeah, let's answer your question this way. And I'm not I didn't go bonkers on Connor Cook. And I'm not going to go bonkers on this. You would like to have your senior quarterback be a captain, but he's only been in the program two years, and those guys have been in the program four years. I guess that's the difference, right? You don't want to look like, I don't know, do tran- do guys who transferred into programs, do they ever become a captain? He will not stop at anything short of propaganda. He, Terry always used to say this. And I'm not being smarmy. It might be the smartest way I've ever seen Terry end an argument. He dead-eyed Bob because they were arguing and Bob was defending Michigan. And all Terry said is, Bob, Michigan can't always be right. Think of, I mean, honestly, how embarrassing is that for Wojo? He absolutely did go crazy on Connor Cook. He absolutely did come in here on countless crosstalks and dog me about Connor Cook. Cheap shots about Connor Cook. The local media. You would have thought they were giving away free snow cones because all they could do is shove that Connor Cook story in their mouth. Well, where is it on Patterson? He's your returning senior starting quarterback. Right? Of the co-Big Ten East champion. And he's not a captain. This whole thing, I I thought... No, tell me. No, I, I thought that the Connor Cook situation was extremely um, overblown. Do you remember when he DDT'd Archie Griffin on stage, ripping was, the trophy out of his hands, and then he went Jake the Snake Roberts and ended Archie Griffin's life? Yeah. Oh, wait, neither do I either. Yep. Well, Connor Cook, it totally got his name, you know, dragged through the mud. And I talked to several people that had played for Michigan State on that team about why he wasn't a captain. And, and look, I thought that whole story was definitely overblown. I thought that was a very clickbait, hot take thing to say, uh, whatever that movie was, Draft Day, where oh, he's not a team captain, no one went to his birthday party. I thought it was very, very overblown. And Connor I'd like Co- all my draft picks back. Connor Cook, yeah, that was very realistic, right? Connor Cook was an extremely uh, talented quarterback at MSU. He had a fantastic career at MSU. I don't. I didn't think that was a big deal, and I don't think this whole Shea Patterson is, thing is that big of a deal. I, I just don't. I think that I, I, where I will say this is that I, you're not going to see those articles. I don't think you'll see any of them. No, because like they're all you in with bed Connor with Cook. Michigan. I don't disagree with that at all. I think that we won't get that type of coverage for Shea Patterson at all because of what we just heard from Bob. It will be the whole thing of, oh, well, he transferred into the program. No, they just they simply want four-year guys to be captains. That's all. I didn't realize that was a rule. I must have missed that in my Michigan Lemming Shill playbook. Right. The bottom line in all of it, you know, you're a leader. You're usually a captain. You're a quarterback. You're usually a captain. Now, I've said to you before, I I don't particularly, uh, I, I don't see this team all of a sudden like in love with Shea. We talked about it last year. Remember when McCaffrey came in the Notre Dame game and the team really rallied up, livened up a little bit, and then for no good reason, Jim put his starter back in the game? I'm just telling you, the way the Connor Cook thing was covered, oh, I can't wait to see the coverage of this now. It won't be. Oh, no, no. I mean, of course the two programs are covered equally, right? Fairness is the F word we like in Detroit. There's no blue wall. Not at all. The coverage of the University of Michigan on a yearly basis for football, it borders on bags of money being sent to people, in my opinion. Now, I know that's not happening, maybe. The point is, it really borders on propaganda, a bought and paid for systemic propaganda. Go ahead. You but, gutted Connor Cook. You gutted him. I even, how, about the, how about the kid who went to the dirtiest program in America and then cried foul when they got put on probation? Hired a high-powered lawyer to get his way. How about a kid who went to about 17 different high schools? Remember the recruiting stories about him, how LSU wouldn't give his brother a job but Ole Miss would? Wasn't that the story? How about that? Nah, we're not going to talk about that. Shea was an angel. Shea was the only kid who went to Ole Miss. There was nothing. No way. 
even though he was the high, most highly recruited kid, right? And then he came home, grew up loving Michigan. And he comes here, he's a starter, he returns as a senior, not a captain. Go ahead, cover it. Cover it with an ounce of the same zeal that you covered the Connor Cook thing. The unheralded recruit who was the accidental winner of the QB Derby because Tyler O'Connor checked out of a play against South Florida and threw a pick. And then Connor Cook leads the team to a 13-1 and season and a Rose Bowl championship. And then he brings them back in 14. And her only losses are to two top five teams in Oregon and Ohio State. Leads them on a wild comeback against Baylor in a cotton ball. And then comes back in 15 and takes him to the playoff, playing hurt for several games. You know what? Cover it the same way. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. But you won't. 